Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we're gonna test out the Council Tool five pound fallers slash splitting axe. So at the end of last video, I did say I was gonna post the splitting video immediately after that, splitting up those logs that I had just bucked up. But for some reason after I edited the video, the quality was horrible. So I didn't wanna post it. Um, I ended up deleting the whole thing. So we're gonna reshoot it. So technically no, this isn't a first time use but it is still in the out of the box condition. I didn't change anything for the sake of the video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna split a couple logs for you guys, small, medium, um, and let me know what you guys think because so far the little bit of use that I have behind this thing, I absolutely love it. There we go, right into the ground. It happens, what are you gonna do? Probably didn't have to swing that hard for that piece. It's all right, we'll clean it off with this one. Alrighty guys, so I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up. I don't want the video to run on too long. Um, I know splitting can get a little monotonous and boring to watch. So I hope that was a good enough representation of how this axe works. I think this thing's phenomenal. I think Council and Tool really hit the nail on the head with this thing. With the five pound head weight, it's just, it's perfect. And the geometry is awesome too. Um, I didn't measure the, uh, the grind on it. You know, it's rough, regular, sport utility line grind nothing crazy nothing fancy 
it's a, it's a splitting axe, guys, uh, or a follower's axe. Um, but it's awesome. It's it's simple. It's basic. It's all you need, and it is a really good tool. I, I'm really happy with this purchase, and I, I'm glad I did it and didn't just kind of, you know, settle with using the old mall. Every time I pulled that thing out, I wasn't ever really too stoked about using it. But this, man, I love it. This is an awesome tool. Uh, mine's 28 inches in length. I don't know if I mentioned that. They also offer it in a 36 inch length handle. Same head weight. But uh, guys, I'm not a big fan of 36 inch uh, handles, whether it's splitting, felling, bucking, whatever ax I'm using, the longest handle I own is 30 inches. And that's about my limit. To me, 36 is just unusable. It feels wonky, I, I don't like it. But if you guys like 36 inch handles, or let's say you're like really tall, um, that's available. So two awesome sizes, 28 and 36, both with a five pound head. Um, and then it looks like they're putting conical wedges back in there. Guys, this head didn't loosen up at all. And I, I did a lot more splitting than I did on camera. The only thing I'm going to change about this axe is I'm probably going to remove the wax coating and use uh, either Killinger snake juice or boiled linseed oil. It does come with, like I said, like a wax on it. At least it's not like that lacquer stuff. Um, some people like the wax. Me, I'm, I don't know. I don't like the way it feels. You know, maybe once it like really rubs in or whatever, it'll feel better. But I'm probably just going to take my card scraper, take it down a little bit, and... Uh, finish it up with some boiled linseed oil, like I said. Um, yeah, I mean, not much more to talk about the axe. It's, you know, it's pretty basic. It is what it, it's, it's just a really good tool. I don't know. I know I'm rambling on here, but yeah. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and we're able to get something out of it. And uh, yeah, I hope if you guys were thinking about buying this axe, I helped you out in some sort of way. Um, I did buy mine at whiskeyrivertrading.com. I'm sure it's available in a bunch of other places, but anything council tool, I buy through them. They're just a really good group of guys, and I've never had a bad experience, so I just keep going with what works. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.